Richard, we have to do this interview. Yeah. Now, 20 years we work together. Are you still happy to show in Paris? No. Of course. <laughs> have you ever been? No. no. <laughs> Be sure I'm not no. either. It's, it's only getting worse. <laughs> Uh, we're showing the stack for the first time, I think, in France okay. and in Paris. Uh, what do you feel about them? When did you start them? Why do you show them? Are those shapes definitive or are you changing them? Sorry, too many questions in one. Well, usually they, they, they're installed differently depending on the space. Basically what this is, the first one was, I made a thousand paintings, mm -hmm. exactly. And I showed them in 1979. The message is, or the, what these are about is, it's what painting has become. A painter has one idea, and they make a thousand paintings. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when we, we visited some collectors who were asking you what your work was about. You always maintained that your work was about enlarging yeah. painting. Yeah. That's what it was about. Could making you tell it, us a little yeah. bit more about that? Yeah, making it an, an experience. Yeah. Like when you go to my exhibition, I expect people to have an experience. It's kind of the remnants of a performance in a way, you know, and then they have to relate to it. And you, and they, they have to use their imagination as to how it was done and all that. So. And, and by the way, compared to some other artists in LA that has been doing being a lot in performances, we can see the process of your work, but you never activate them in public. No. Is there a reason for that? Well, they're not very interesting. When you I, we, we loved it when we saw it. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, and it makes them, you know, they're not as mysterious if you see it, you know, okay. in a way. You, 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 you don't do performance. You show works that has been performed. I have, That's done, the idea. I have done it, you know, and uh, there's trouble all the time because the whole thing is conceived in the studio and then you think this is the way it's going to work and then you get there and it doesn't. But basically, for the artist, it's a time when you really have to be creative. Yes. You have to solve that problem and you have to be creative. So in a way, when things go wrong, that's when the fun starts. 